Hey guys, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to show you how to uh, change the batteries on this Gen 4 Spot GPS tracking device. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything. It'll really help the channel out quite a lot. And let's do this thing. So to change the batteries, we just turn it around to the other side. Now unlike the Gen 3, the Gen 4 does not have those little moon or half moon clips that you can now manually undo this. So you'll have to use a tool like a screwdriver, which could be problematic if you obviously don't take tools with you when you are hiking or recycling. But then you just unscrew these four bolts at the back here. They cannot come out completely. They've got a little catch there, so you cannot, quite a nice feature, you cannot lose the bolts, they will not fall out. Then there's an O-ring that sits in here. You've got to make sure that that stays there and uh, does not fall out. Obviously that is a little bit of water protection. Then just take the batteries out or to change them. You just take the old ones out. And these batteries are lithium iron. You cannot change them with anything else like alkaline. These are the batteries that are suggested by the manufacturer. So it is best to just replace them with exactly the same thing which I've got over here. And then you just put them back in easily. As such, you'll also see on the inside here there are little um, grooves that the batteries go into. So the batteries uh, line up nicely with that. And then you put the cover back on. And the cover also has these little um, indents here on either side. And they have to line up with either side of these reds. So you cannot put it upside down. It has to be put back the same way. Once again, make sure the O-ring is correct. Let's put it back in there like that. And then I would suggest just gently tightening it up so that there's even pressure on the O-ring. Doesn't have to be too tight. There we go. So guys, that's how easy it is to actually uh change the batteries on this device is it uh, a good thing that you can change the batteries as opposed to having rechargeable batteries I don't know I suppose there's pros and cons with that I mean obviously you can just carry a spare set of batteries and change them if they run out of power because if it was a rechargeable device and ran out of power you'd have a problem if you're out in the back there but then I think there are other, other solutions you can use like a power bank or something to charge the device so uh, I don't know if I'm that crazy about the fact that you have to change the batteries every now and again. And um, I plan on doing another video on how long these batteries last, how many put monitoring points you can get, um, all that information in the future. The reason why I haven't done it yet is because I was hoping to use this on uh, a race that was coming up, but now it's been postponed with the whole COVID stuff. So uh, as soon as I get an opportunity to do a proper race of uh, a good distance out in the wilderness where there's no cell phone networks or anything like that then uh, we can put this thing properly to the test and I can give you uh, proper feedback on that. So guys once again thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.